Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do these. All right, I know they're giving Christmas, right? They're giving Christmas, but it's still winter. So I'm gonna say they're giving winter wonderland and it is still January. So that being said, we are starting off with the process that I do to do the easy peel method because I'm showing you guys these nails but I'm not keeping them on my hands by any means necessary. Um, so first I use cuticle oil and now I'm going to add matte top coat to all of my fingers and then I'm going to put it in the cure for about 60 seconds, 30 to 60 seconds, depending, 30 seconds will, will do the trick. Um, it will be spicy. It will be very, very spicy in the very beginning, but it fades away really quickly. Um, if any of you guys know the um, effect that this will have on your nails in the long term, please let me know because there might be a better alternative um, than me doing this all the time. But let me know. Um, after I finish um, putting the matte top coat and curing, I'm going to move on to applying the gel tips. Um, these ones, I will link them in the description. I did get them on Amazon. Um, and I forgot to show the tube of the glue, but I got that from Mac Art and I'll also link that in the description. Um, I really do like this glue. Granted, I haven't tried that many glues, but this one is nice and thick and it doesn't like spill out too bad. And when it does spill out, um, you can use the nail drill and it like, it's very rubbery, so it just kind of just rolls right off, which is what I like. So you don't have to do too much with this glue. Um, and I'm going, you know, putting on each finger. I always start with my pinky because I use my thumb a lot um, to, to do it. So I work my way from pinky to thumb whenever I am putting tips on my nails. If you stuck with me for this long and have not already, don't forget to click that subscribe button. Show your girl some love. Um, I'll continue to post videos about my journey on <laughs> just playing around with nails. By no means am I a nail technician. Um, I just like having fun. I like um, Amazon <laughs> and might as well you know use all that Amazon has to offer and order a whole bunch of nail supplies and just do my nails why not and all my videos are definitely beginner friendly I always say I am the beginner so I like to just try things I hope that I'm getting better and better as you know I make the next video and the next video and the next video but you know, practice makes perfect. I know these nails, obviously, I'm doing the peel off method, so it's not like they're gonna last. But when I do go places and I do put actual nails on my hands, I'm hoping that, you know, there isn't lifting or stuff like that. So keep that in mind um, when you're doing your nails for yourself. Um, but this is what I was talking about when using this um, glue, the, it really does like just kind of just roll off because it is a very rubbery glue and it comes off super easy with the with the drill and i'm not an expert at all with this nail drill i'm probably using the wrong nail bit and all that stuff but the it's coming off so that's hashtag winning for me the the, the glue is coming off so the job is being done. It's not perfect, but hey.
Well, once I get all the glue off of like the cuticle area, um, I go and file the top of the nail so that it's not so shiny um, and that the gel polish can stick a little bit better to these gel nails. And then I also file off the numbers that are underneath the nail. Sometimes if the gel polish that you're using is a little opaque, you will see the number underneath. So I just like to file it off. And when I do put the base coat on top of the nails, I go ahead and add top coat underneath just to, you know, make that um, buffed out area shiny where I um, drilled off the number that's underneath each of the nails. I finished curing these nails I'm gonna go in with this really pretty blue glitter polish that I got from Mac Art um, I will link the video that I have of these swatches that these um, these gel polishes came in 
They come in a variety of colors. It's a kit of six. And personally, I think they're like a good go-to glitter polish that you can use. Um, the colors are pretty standard, but they're very cute. I love I love how much glitter are actually in these um, in these polishes. I am going to do two coats of this on each finger. I'm going to obviously cure in between and then um, do the second coat. And then I'm going to move on to the design. Before curing the second coat, in my brain, I wanted to get one of the fingers to be that like really dusty, snowy texture. So I went and got the, you know, the powdered glitter. And clumsy me, it basically exploded <laughs> when I was trying to take the cap off and it went everywhere as you can see right here. Um, the cap went into my shirt, the glitter flew all over my computer, um, and it was a hot mess. So, I kind of like gave up at that point. Um, I, <laughs> I didn't have much to work with, but it got, it got the job done. Um, I definitely had to uh, stop recording for a little bit to get some cleanup going. Um, and on this finger, I wanted to add some pearls to give it you know a cute little you know design so that's what i did um i ended up curing the the dusty glitter first and then i added the nail glue so that i can get these pearls on each um dot that i added um to pick up the pearls what I normally do is I'll put like a little bit of glue on the tool just so it's like sticky a little bit and then I grab each um, each pearl that way or, or if I'm using like the little jewels or the diamonds or whatever. Um, that's how I pick them up. I know other people do other things but that's not just how I do it. I feel like it's so easy that way. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm doing here. Thank you. 
for the next finger, I'm coming back with my infamous snowflake. Um, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I am not great with, you know, designs, but the snowflake is like, it's, it's easy for me because it can be ugly, but still be cute at the same time. So this snowflake was a little messy, but in the end, it still looked cute. So I have high appreciation for the snowflake design. That's why it keeps showing up on my nails, for my wintry nails. And if y'all don't like it, I don't know what to tell you, but it, may, it ended up being cute. Um, and then for the last finger that I put a design on, I ended up doing some stripes. And then on top of the stripes, I added nail glue to give it that like 3D effect. So like the, the thick nail glue over the stripes. So it looks raised. So I thought that was adorable. I, I like that, that look, I thought it was cute. Um, but yeah. Oh, and also on the snowflake nail, I forgot I added some little small pearls on it as well. So it can like stand out a little bit more.
after adding top coat to all of the nails, we're basically done. So here is the final product. I hope you guys love these. I think they're super cute. Winter Wonderland nails. Um, if you guys have not done so, don't forget to like, subscribe, show me some love, and I'll catch y'all in the next video. Bye.